Good afternoon everybody and welcome to sunny Southern California. Tonight what we are doing is something fun and exciting from the second book. Uh, I am the author of two books. I am the Primal Grill Chef and I am Barbecue Joe. This is the Barbecue Joe Chronicles, the first book, and this is the second book, Barbecue Joe Chronicles 2.0. Now these books are a story as well as a cookbook. Now what I do is I go back to the caves of Sweden in the Cave Baby Hang 10 region just outside of Stockholm and we try to figure out where my genealogical loins actually come from and how my family invents barbecue. And you find those answers and many more in both of these books. The first book also has 19 grilled for, uh, recipes and the second one has 40 grilled recipes. And tonight I'm actually doing two recipes from the second book. Uh, we are doing Granny Blenda's Bodacious Button Mushroom. Dark, number 38. I will also be doing number 5, Cave Unknown's Squealing Wild Pig with No Name Bone In Roast. So it's got uh, six bones, one, two, three, four, five, six. So they're made out of cedar, they're hard, they smell really nice, and if you don't know what cedar smells like, go over to your neighbor's porch and just kind of go like that, just and just go down there and sniff it right up on the, uh, the ledge and you'll get an idea of what these smell like but you don't want to use your neighbor's porch because one he'll be pissed at you for using his porch and two you may have a problem with all of the chemicals that are in the paint this is basically wood it's just a piece of flat wood and you're gonna put your your uh, salmon fish on it it's trout grouper depending on where you are in the US any kind of tilapia, any kind of fish. Let's get busy. This little injector here, you just put that together like that. It's like a hypodermic needle, and then you have this top part. I've already done this, so. But you just basically put your marinade in here, which for me was a plum bourbon marinade. And we simply just inject it inside of the duck. This thing probably weighs another six ounces. It's completely filled with bourbon and plum sauce. And this is plum sauce from my plum tree. So that baby's gonna sit on charcoal, tender, moist, and flavorful. And that is the mark of guarantee that I always give. The stamp of approval is there. Let's get busy now with, um, I'll set this over to the side. We're also gonna be doing some baked potatoes and we're gonna be doing some Granny Blenda's bodacious white mushrooms. So we just toss them into a bowl just like that. And the next thing we do is we back load it with some balsamic vinaigrette. It has olive oil in it. So I'm going to add just a skosh more. Just a skosh. And then I'm just going to move it around. Move these bad boys around and get them looking really nice. Nice and tan. Because these are white mushrooms. So we're going to give them a tan with this balsamic. And they're going to, mm, boy, do those things smell good. And then what we're doing is, as we're just kind of getting these mushrooms all kind of doctored up, as they say, we're then going to take a bit of feta cheese. I have a plate here, and then I just grab these one at a time, and then I just pour in a little bit, primarily speaking, a little bit of feta cheese right into the top. We back load it with a few pine nuts right on top. You want to talk about amazing? This is going to just blow your mind. This is a flavor explosion in the making. Now we're going to do this a couple more times so you get the hang of it. So we got mushroom number two, Grandma Blenda. And then we put a few more pine nuts on it. And that's how you do it. There's a million different ways to do barbecue and your side dishes. It's a subjective science. I just happen to be good at it. The other thing we're going to do is a couple baked potatoes. I think I told you that. And we're going to pair this with a really nice Napa Valley uh, Cabernet. Now, this is a Cabernet made by Trader Joe's. It was recommended to me. The 20 to $25 bottles of wine that you can get 
and this was uh, $11.99. But we're going to try it tonight. I'm going to decant it. It's a thing called a Venturi. And that's where you actually pour it in like this. And then the air bubbles actually help oxygenate the actual wine to give it a good balance. So when you drink it, you're not just drinking, you know, uh, a wine that hasn't been opened up basically it opens up the wine gives you the full flavor of the entire experience but we will be grill side here in just about an hour and a half we'll be on charcoal hickory charcoal with apple chunks it's going to be fantastic so don't go anywhere marinate often grill responsibly chop sizzle grill eat we'll be grill side here in about an hour and a half folks we are grill side we're applying some wood chunks it is the bad boy let's put it open been in the oven for an hour and a half. We're going to keep it basically on for another hour and a half here on the grill. So we'll have about three hours. It's a small pork loin center cut bone in, six bone in from the book, number five in the new book. Let her just baste, just let her cook. And then at the end, we'll throw them on a little bit of the finishing place, which is a Balsamic, Jack Daniels type marinade. It's amazing. Okay, there's the close up of the button mushrooms. Mm, boy, that smoke smells amazing. And look at that bad boy. Look at that thing. He is just doing his thing. Just amazing. It's going to be just so tender, moist, and flavorful. These button mushrooms are going to be tasting just a fabulosa. Hey, folks. Now what we're going to do is we'll throw on some wood chips, some apple wood chips to give it some real smoky flavor. And I've just put on my mushrooms. Grandma Blend does little mushrooms. The white mushrooms are going to be tender, moist, and flavorful. That I guarantee you. And we have an amazing... So we're going to go ahead and apply a little bit of love, a little magic. Shut her down, shut her down. And there is the close-up of the duck. The duck is just amazing. That's actually a pig, I'm just making jokes. These are the Grandma Blenda mushrooms. They're gonna be amazing, and that's gonna be tender, moist, and flavorful. Clean, versatile, tasty. Marinate off and grow responsibly. Take a little piece off of this bad boy. Get on a good hour and a half. Oh yeah, right there. Close up of that piece of meat. Mm. That is so good. We'll talk to you next time. Thanks for joining me. Marinate often. Real response. Chop, sizzle, grilling. Thank you.